trying to push homosexuality throughout the land of Ghana right now. This damn bastard is a teacher of damn lies. Right. He is the beast the Bible speaks of. Right. He is the devil the Bible speaks of. Right. The word devil means deceiver. And he has been deceiving you so-called, so-called Ghanaians for far too damn long, man. Right. The prophets are back on the earth. It's high time we come back to the laws of God. And understand you are the kings on the face of this planet. Right. You are the Israelites according to the Bible. Right. Read what you got. Let's get to history, family, all right? Come on. Numbers chapter 8, 8 verse 21. Numbers 21 and 9. Come on. Numbers chapter 21, the verse 9. Can I get another reader? Come on. 21, the verse 9. Uh -huh. And Moses made a serpent of brass uh -huh. and put it upon a pole. You see that? So it says, I want you to start at verse 8. Read. Numbers 28, 21, verse 8. Uh -huh. The Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fairy serpent uh -huh. and set it upon a pole. Now, you ever notice some of the ambulances you may see on TV have like a, a sticker depiction of a pole and a serpent running around it? They got that out the Bible. This is the history. Why? Let's find out. Come on. That's it. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fairy serpent and set it upon a pole. Three. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. that everyone that is bitten, when they look upon it, shall live. And Moses made a serpent of brass and put it upon a pole. Three. And it come to pass uh -huh. that if a serpent have bit any man, when he behind a serpent of brass, he lived. Uh -huh. Come on. And the children of Israel. And the children of all nations. And the children of Israel. No, the so-called Chinese man. The children of Israel. No, the so-called white man. And the children of Israel. So you're going to notice, brother, from the front to the back, from the front and the beginning of Genesis to the back, God is only dealing with the Israelites. Right. That's the world according to God. Stay right there. So going back into history, what happened is we were disobedient. Moses sent serpents, venomous snakes, to bite the children of Israel. So it says, the same way that Christ instructed him to raise that serpent and all will be healed, is the same way that Jesus the Christ must be lifted up. His testimony, his laws and statutes must be lifted up and taught to our people. The truth that he is not Ibruni must be taught to our people. That's right. John 7 to 38, is that what I want? Believe as it is written. Let me yes, see that. John, I want you to see something real quick. You can put the brother in the back. Read what you got. John chapter 7. Come on. The book of John chapter 7, the verse 38. Uh -huh. He that believeth on me, uh -huh. as the scripture has said. Stop. Do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe in Jesus the Christ? Do you believe in Jesus the Christ? You don't believe? That's okay. You will today. What is it that you don't believe? Do you believe that this is a white man's book? Okay, well, let me finish this and we're going to get to your question because you've been patient. So now let's read that scripture again. Read it again. The book of John, chapter 7, verse 38. Uh -huh. He that delivered on me, as the scripture has said. Now, we've been, we went through multiple scriptures proving the true depiction of Jesus the Christ according to the Bible. Christ came in the volume of the book. So it says, He that believeth on me as the what? As the scripture has said. As we bring it out. It said Christ was a black man, darker than all of us here, with woolly textured hair. A black man from the tribe of Judah. That's right. That's thus saith the Lord. Read it one last time. He that delivered on me, as the scripture has said, shall do what? Out of his belly. Out of his belly, out of his mind, his understanding. Read. Shall flow rivers of living water. You see that thing? So we got to believe as the Bible has said, not what the colonizer taught us, not this Danny Bruni image right here that you can't find nowhere in the Bible. Right. All the prophets were black men, so-called black men. Right. All the prophets look like us. Right here. What's your question? It's just a title. Yeah, but that's, that's, not his, that's not his real name. It's just anointed one. That's it. Jesus is What do you mean? Oh, you talk about the J. Yeah, the J's weren't there. The J's weren't there. But we call him Lord. We call him Christ. We call him Messiah. It's just a title. Yeah, the reason why I was confused is that I've learned that the first sheep was the sheep came in Africa. That was called Jesus. The what? The sheep. Hashem, yes, 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 yes. Right, right.
Right. Now, let's get that. I see where you're going. Isaiah, you know what I want, 28. Let's see, let's see, because think about it. Do I speak tweet? Do I speak tweet? I don't speak tweet. But how do you guys say Jesus in tweet? How do you say Christ in tweet? Issu, right? It's different names. In America, where I'm from, we know him as Jesus the Christ. But the Bible said that's prophecy that would be fulfilled. This, this, this truth has to go all throughout the world. So let's see what the Bible says to answer your question, okay? Read what you got. Who got that? Isaiah 28. You got it? Isaiah chapter 28. Come on, come on, come on. Isaiah 28. I want you to listen close. Thank you, family. Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 11. Let's get that. Read, read, read. Because we, we're going to answer all things according to the Bible. If we don't come outside the Bible, don't believe a damn thing we say. Because people lie. Do you hear me? Right. Read what you got. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28, verse 11. Uh -huh. So yeah. with stammering lips. Now, family, it says with stammering lips. Come on. On another tongue. What does it mean by another tongue? After this, we're going to go to the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 4. What does it mean, stammering lips in another, another tongue? What is that going into? Speech, dialect, and language, okay? So let's read that again. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28, verse 11. Come on. For we stammer and leap in another tongue. Uh -huh. Will we speak to these people? Wait a minute. It says with stammering lips in another tongue shall they speak to this people. During the time of Christ, what were the languages that were being spoken? Hebrew. What other language is being spoken? There you go. So there was a multitude of languages being spoken. As a matter of fact, there was different languages over the over the placard that was over the sign of Christ. Right. So it says through stammering lips in another tongue shall the word of God be go forth and speak to his people. Read it one more time. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28, verse 11. Read. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to these people. You see that thing? So the word of God is all over. This truth is coming out all over the world. We got brothers that speak Spanish. What is the name of, of Christ in Spanish? Jesus Cristo. Do you understand that? So it's through different names. Christ had different names. It's a multitude of languages being spoken. But it's the same message. It's the same message. It's the same message. Okay? It's the same message. So now, brother, you understand what I'm saying? So what did you learn today? Come on back, brother. Come on back. Come on back. <laughs> it's the sun. Okay, so now let me give you a law. Because it's one thing. You found out that you are the Israelite according to the Bible. We can prove all things out this Bible, but why did we go into captivity? Let me ask you a question. You said you believe the Bible, right? What is the first commandment? Huh? I can't hear you, man. Love your neighbor. Love your neighbor as yourself is the first commandment? Don't worry about that. Many of us didn't know. That's what we're here for. Let's get that in Exodus chapter 20. Okay? Exodus chapter 20. Let's figure out what the first commandment is. Because many of our people say they believe the Bible, but they don't keep law number one. They don't keep law number one. And it's evident. It's evident. People think that Christ is a white man. Let's figure out what the law says. Read. The book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 3. Read. Thou shalt have no other God before me. Wait a minute. The first commandment of God states that you should have no other gods before him. But wait a minute. Your colonizer gave you another God. The Abruni, they gave you another God. You went against the laws of God, but you say you believe God. Brother, 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 what is the second commandment? What is the second commandment? Do you know what the second commandment is? Anybody know what the second commandment of God is? Let's figure out what the second commandment is. Read. The book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 7. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not take the name of thy Lord God in vain. You see that? It says thou shalt not take the name of thy God in vain. Now, I want, go up, jump up, jump up. Read. The book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 6. Uh -huh. And show mercy unto thousands of them that love me. Four, four, verse verse four. 4. Yes. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image Read. or any likeness of anything Read. that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath Read. or that is in the water under the earth. Read. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Now, one of the main biggest religions, two biggest religions in Ghana 
is Christianity and Islam. That's right. So what is that thing that they rear up on a cross? It's, a, it's known as a crucifix. It's known as a crucifix. That is a driven image. Do you understand that the crucifix was around before Christ even stepped on the scene? The crucifix was a weapon of torture. It was an instrument of torture. Islam, they serve, they, 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 they serve that Kaaba stone. They serve the Kaaba stone. What in the hell? So what are you talking about? This stone right here gave you life? Am I gonna circle myself around the stone? No, we are not to do that. Those are other gods given to us by our oppressors. The Arab, that's an Arab religion. They don't like y'all. They will put your ass to death. Our brothers and sisters are still out there in slavery right now. That's right. They're in slavery right now. Right. Because they worship a damn rock known as the Kaaba Stone. That's right. That's not a god. Right. There's no life in that thing. Right. Read it one last time. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 4. Read. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image uh -huh. or any likeness of anything uh -huh. that is in the heaven above uh -huh. or that is in the earth beneath. Because our, 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 our brothers and sisters are caught up into Christianity. They're caught up into Roman Catholicism. They're sitting there bowing at a, at a, at a damn white Jesus and a white Mary. Okay? We're not to do that. But they claim they love God. That's going contrary to the laws of God. That's right. This was given to you by your oppressor, the abuse, the abuse of the damn devil the Bible speaks of. That's From there, right. give me Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. We're going to keep bringing this thing out. We're going to keep hammering this on y'all. Right. Because it's high time y'all come out of damn foolishness and the witchcraft of your oppressors, man. That's, right. That's the true damn sorcerer there. Y'all ain't got no damn power of witchcraft. He got the witchcraft because it's destroying our people in the long run. Read right. right. what you got. The book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 8. Right. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Who spoiled the so called Ghanaian through philosophies, doctrines, and vain lies? Lying deceits. Who gave you white Jesus? Who told you something contrary to the laws of God? The so-called white man, right, Esau, right. Shastra, right. wasted away is he, the damn devil the Bible speaks of. That's right. Your oppressor, right. the one you love so much and wear around your damn neck. Right. But you won't find that anywhere in the Bible. Brother, do you understand that Christ is a black man and he only came for the nation of Israel? Let's get that. Give me Leviticus chapter 22 verse 6. Let me ask you a question. Do you eat bush meat? Do you eat bush meat? Do you know that's against God's laws? Brothers will go out there and take bush meat and things dead. You know that's against our moral conduct? You know that's not something that the Israelites do? Let's see, let's see, read what you got. The book of Leviticus chapter 22 verse 6. Uh -huh. The soul which attached any such shall be unclean Sorry, until even. Verse 5. Verse verse five. five. Uh -huh. And whosoever touches any creeping thing, whereby he may be made unclean, a man of whom he may take uncleanness, whatsoever uncleanness he have. Uh -huh. The soul which has touched any such shall be unclean until evil. Now, I want you to jump down to verse 8. Verse 8. Uh -huh. That which diet of itself. That does what? Diet of itself. Any creature in the bush that dies of itself. Come on. Or is torn with beasts. Or is torn. Another animal rips its damn head off. Read on. He shall not eat to the God says you should not what? He shall not eat to defile himself therewith. You see that thing right there? So us picking up dead carcasses and eating it. Us eating things going contrary to the laws in Leviticus 11 and 7 is against God's law. We are not to eat bush meat. We are not. That is a sin in the eyes of the Most High God. That's right. We are special people. Right. We must sever ourselves from the people of the land. Right. Let me have that. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 26, real quick. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 26. It's high time we come back, man. So, brother, brother, do you understand? Hey, hold on one second. You writing this down for him? You writing this down? So, God says in Leviticus 22 and 8, we are not supposed to partake of things that die of itself or bush meat. Today, you guys take on the customs of the other nations. You have not severed yourselves from the philosophies and the teachings of other nations. You guys keep the doctrine and you break God's Sabbath, man. That's right. Today is God's holy day. Let's get that. Nehemiah chapter 10. Brother, do you know you're not supposed to be selling on God's Sabbath day? 
You do? What about you, sis? What about you, brother? What about y'all across the street? You with the water on your head. We gonna get, we gonna touch on the sin. We ain't little overlooking the sin, man. You, brothers and sisters, should not be buying and selling on God's holy day. Can somebody translate that for me? Can I get, hey, can I get a translator for that? I want them to understand that across the street. They should not be buying and selling on God's holy day. And today, I'm going to tell you, and 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 I'm going to tell you, we want y'all all to understand. I don't want y'all to miss it, because some of y'all may not speak English. So we're going to read Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31, in tweet. Let's see what the almighty God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has said. Read. Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. Read. Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. Read that thing in English now. The book of Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. Come on. And if the people of the land be prayer on any virtue on the Sabbath day. So now it says if anybody, any of your brothers and sisters, bring any victuals, the other nations, bring any wares, goods, phones, uh, clothing, shoes, snake, dog, rat, and cat, which you should not be damn dealing with in the first place, chicken eggs and watermelon, on God's Sabbath day, you should not buy it. Say that. And you are saying? So as I said before, if you are so be able to talk with Bia Homeda. And if I say yeah, you don't for you say your tongue, your tongue flow beyond child because then you go home that. And if I say your tongue, you be a talk with Bia. You cannot love God if you go against his laws and break it. You are a liar. What is how you can't be a good phone? Let's say you're kidding me. Let's just your tongue for we the book of Nehemiah chapter 11 verse 31 uh -huh. and if the people of the land bring wear or any virtues on the Sabbath day to sell that we will not buy ye of them it says we the nation of Israel shall not buy these victuals these wares or these goods on the Lord's Sabbath day finish that out or uh, on the holy day uh -huh. and that we would leave the seventh year and the exaction of every death stop so let them know they are not to buy or sell on the holy day Give me that into, uh, uh, go back to Exodus the 20th chapter. Because that is the law of God. For you Christians out there that claim you keep the laws of God. God says keep my Sabbath day holy. Let's prove our things out of the Bible. We're going right back to Exodus the 20th chapter. Read what you got. The book of Exodus chapter 20. Verse 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For, uh, down to verse 8. Verse 8. Uh, remember the Sabbath day uh -huh. to keep it holy. God says, remember the Sabbath day. Today is the Sabbath day. Today is a day of rest according to the Lord thy God. We are to keep it separate from the other nations. There should be no buying and selling. Read what you got. Ezra chapter 20 verse 8. Come on. So we are not to buy or sell on the Sabbath day. We are supposed to be keeping God's laws today. Brother, do you understand that? So what are we not supposed to do today? You've been sitting here listening for a minute. What are we not supposed to do today? We're supposed to do what God commanded, right? All right, so all praises. So what we just brought forth was a law of God. Let them That's know that. Right. No, 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 let them know what we brought forth is the law of God. Now, Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. We're going to give them a Come on. Numbers chapter 15 verse 38. So you listening? Come on. Numbers 15 verse 38. Can't you use the phone say? When you want to know you want to want to persuade them. So you heard that? So the Bible says we are supposed to keep fringes with a border of blue, okay? Throughout our generations. And see, tell your Bible can say. They use the phone when you say. 
What we're bringing out is that we are the true people of the Bible. We are the biblical Israelites according to the Bible. God chose you because you are a great nation. So give us some time so we can prove to you because we've been lied to for far too long by the Ibruni. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. While you're getting it, he's going to read. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art a holy people uh -huh. unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Ask him what does it mean to be special? And then say, can say, or be a special. And he's saying, yeah, that is so he said it's yeah. great, right? So let him know. God says the nation of Israel, him included, is a special people. What's it? It's the one that Israel, man, yeah, on my case, yeah, man, oh. Let him know. You can tell that we are better than the Ibruni. We jump, we sing better, we cook better, we're faster, we're stronger. And he said, "Yeah, yeah, so we are the Ibruni. Go on, we are the Ibruni." You understand? Now we're gonna prove that out of the Bible what God said about Israel, Deuteronomy 7 to 6. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Now we are going to go to the house. We are going to go to the house. We are going to go to the house. We are going You see that thing? So God says we are great people. You understand that? So now my question to you is you got a church? I said, oh, what's your in your church, what do they teach you? The Word of God. Okay, so by them teaching you the Word of God, what color is Christ? Christ is black? Are you sure about that? All praise to the Most High. Who taught you that? Your pastor taught you that. Your pastor taught you that Christ is black. Now, by your pastor teaching you that, where did your pastor tell you you could find that? Where? Okay, so we're gonna bring it back to your remembrance. It's all day, all praise to the most high that he did tell you, but we're gonna help you connect the dots. There's more behind that. You understand? Let's get that. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Go ahead. The book of Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Right. His head and his head are white like wool. Stop. You read that part. You only had this seven tobacco, and we do nine. Wasn't it the three? And then you was out that doing you for that. So it says his head and his hairs were in the color of wool. I mean, a, a color, the white, white color white and of a woolly texture. Who today on the face of the planet has white woolly hair? What's it? And the people who are in the world, they 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 are in the Black people have white woolly hair, right? Hey, you see it coming in right here, it's white, but it's of a woolly texture. This image does not have white woolly hair. What's this out for anyway? That's strike one on this devil here. When you look at the depiction here, he looks just like you and has white woolly hair. But you may not be convinced, so we're going to keep reading. Read. What? So his, his feet were like fine brass. So now it says that his feet were into the color of fine brass. What is the color of brass? Brown, right? But it's 
gonna tell you, it says, as if, as if they burnt in a furnace. If you take anything and burn it in a furnace, what is the color? What's it? Sir, I don't know what you said, Jim. That's a Russia, a Tanya Kanabe. Black, right? So this, what we're proving today is this image that's pushed throughout all the world is a lie. What's it? Anything I had to tell you, I said, same for you, what's it? You know, I had a floor because I am Trump. I am the Jesus Christ, and the Bible says, Jesus Christ, where we believe. So the Bible, what we're bringing forth is the proof that Christ not only is a black man, but you are the biblical Israelite according to the Bible. We have been lied to. What's it? Bible, no, I mean, we say, Yanni is off on our hand, you know, that in the Grand Eddy, Ever say, Yanni is off on the Yanis who goes to Grand Eddy. Everybody, oh, Bible, he's off on the way, oh, my, where's the sister at? Where's the sister at? Left. I got another question for you. Ask him if he is familiar with the gates of no return. What's it? Say, I guess that, uh, Unim gate of Unim get, get of return. No return. No return. Question, question. Unim gate of no return. Oh, I mean, not pastor. No. no. Have you ever heard of the slave trade? What's it? Unim slave trade. Has your pastor ever taught you that that is Bible prophecy? No. Well, the Bible is your history. Your forefathers and foremothers, your brothers, were sent by cargo slave ship. Did that not happen? And that did not happen to any other nation but the Israelites. Let's prove that out of the Bible. Sister, are you listening? Let her know. Don't be fearful. Don't be ashamed. This is your this is your history. This is great. Sisters, I said look at the Muslo. Never hope for because we are history. I come here. I answer that. Verse 68, Deuteronomy 28, 68. Let's get the proof. Read while you're getting it. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So explain to him the first time that we remember Joseph, Moses, and Aaron. Took the children of Israel out of Egypt from Pharaoh. What's it? Moses and Israel for every Egypt. Our Pharaoh said. They walked out. I'm a move every Israel and Muslim. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Egypt is situated in northeast Africa. What's it? Israel and of East Africa. Africa country back home. What divides the homeland known as Jerusalem is what is called the Suez Canal. So we walked out, there was no ships. So read that in Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. So the Lord said he would send us into Egypt again. Because remember, we walked out the first time, but God said he would send us in a second time by way of ships. So I want him to look at this picture, which is biblical history. What's this time for you? This only happened to one nation of people. We were brought from the west coast of Africa, Benin, Sierra Leone, Uganda, Ghana, and brought to a land we knew not. Ghana, Benin, Uganda, West Africa. So Showing you that the Lord did this to the children of Israel because why? 
We did not keep his commandments. Was in Yakupo, and yeah, because Aditya, Nay, and Vernon Masmede, and Yaguma. Verse 51. Verse 51. So ask him, do you understand? So what nation of people did that happen to? Ghanaian people. Yes, yes, we are both lost brothers. I was taken. You will remain behind with your foreparents. But we are still the same people. You understand that? Read verse 51 now. The 12 chapter 20 verse 51. Read. Now we do um umwa. Now we do umwa. Emma, I know what's up. Forty-nine. Go ahead. The twelve twenty verse forty-nine. I'm ready to remind me of three. I teach three as I say. I know about so. What happened so? Send your courier to Omaya. One to one casa. So the Bible says the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from one end of the earth to the other. We were here on the west coast of Africa. That nation was the Portuguese. That nation was the British. That nation was the Dutch that grabbed your brothers, your forefathers and your foremothers and took them to a further land. <laughs> that nation that came afar was the British, the Portuguese, the Dutch, the colonizers that took us from the west coast of Africa and took us to the Americas. But my name is Fire Call as a slave, instead of so called white. You work here, Simu. Who are they? I could see the other one, Fire Call as a Simu. So what I say? Ask the brother right here, do, do you recall that history? But you better see this scenario to you, why are you Korean? So what can I say to you? So I can assume that you're Korean, what can I say? So I can say you're Korean, what can I say to you? Granted that it did not happen to you when you were here, it still happened to your brothers. I see that too, you know. Still, I'm going to say I told more America. Here now, you're the same brothers. It's a consumer I'm calling. Here now, I'm doing. So what you see that? You are the biblical Israelite according to the Bible. Christ looks just like you. Right. That are here now, you're Israel for. This is called the same minua. So what you see that? It is a whole new world. I'm not tired. The Bruni has lied to us for far too damn long. The colonizers gave us a God that looked like him. What other nation has a God that looks opposite of them? Well, Dada, I can see my fire cut classroom. All of this time is the anybody. I pray here. I'm going to knock upon you. Tell me what they are. Who shall be able to now? Or be able to knock upon anybody. Or soon. But yet, before one day, knock upon. So we must bethink ourselves and come back. We gotta control, we gotta convert our minds. Let's see what the Bible says. Read what you got over here. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. And the Musa said, What do you mean? No one anymore. No one can put him on. Then I said, What I said. I see you in such a happy. She said, You say, Yeah, it's just for you, anybody. You're in such a happy, you know. You're in the name of the name of everybody. Amen, you're too much. So the Bible says, We must repent. We must repent and be converted. Right. What is the thing that converts our minds? Psalm chapter 19, verse 7. Let's see what God says. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I see, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But you should be part of the Bible when you see everybody. I don't know. So what I say? Read. Right, read. Psalm 19, verse 7. And I didn't know. Hey, Pe. Yeah, what I say? I see, you know, I don't know. Hey, Pe. You know, I don't know. Pe. And you do a cry, and you do a cry, and the best is tired, and the best might be idea goes wrong. Read what you got. The book of the book of Psalm chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. So it's God's laws. The understanding and applying application of God's laws that changes our minds. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how we men repented at heart The scriptures is proof 
IUIC, we deliver the truth.